Well, that decision by the appeals court has elicited mixed reactions from different quarters. Earlier, my colleague Penina Karibe spoke with Dr. Richard Moncrief, who is the Central Africa Director at the International Crisis Group, about these latest developments. She started by asking him when Bemba is expected to be set free. Well, of course, the ruling uh, concerns justice for the people of the Central African Republic. And, of course, this is uh, deeply disappointing to anybody who's concerned with justice in that country. Um, in the DR Congo, it's a, a bit of a, a different question. Mm -hmm. um, he was never convicted or e even indicted for crimes committed there. Um, he was a warlord during the, uh, during the long civil war of the 1990s, but then a number of politicians were. He's not alone in that. But in there the were, Central African Republic, what does it mean? Well, it, it means that nobody has been convicted for war crimes in the Central African Republic for a very long time, which is extremely disappointing because there have been many atrocities committed there. And indeed, there continue to be many atrocities committed there. So evidently, that's disappointing. Right. And so what are the implications of his release? Well, if we look at DR Congo, they are enormous. This is really a political earthquake. Uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba is uh, a very well-known, high-profile Congolese politician. He came second to Joseph Kabila in the election in 2006. Um, he uh, can expect to gather a lot of support across the country. He's going to have to do a lot of alliance building with some of the existing politicians. That's the normal game in the Congo, and it's going to be very complicated. And time is very tight because presidential candidates have to put their name forward in less than three months now. So we're looking at some very tight, very rapid negotiations between opposition members. But Bemba is a very big player amongst the opposition. He's popular in the north, in the west, and in Kinshasa, if we look at his vote in 2006. And there are reports that he is going to contest in the December election. So how is this likely to impact the political landscape? Well, like I say, there's going to be an awful lot of negotiations. I would expect him to compete in the elections. He's that kind of person. He's a fighter. He's charismatic. He likes a crowd. He can, he can rouse a crowd. Um, he, he's, he's that kind of politician. So I really would expect him to run. I suspect he also thinks this is unfinished business from 2006. He claimed he won that election. Mm -hmm. um, all the observers said otherwise and, and agreed that Kabila had won back in 2006, but that wasn't his view. So there's probably in his mind a bit of unfinished business and he's a powerful character. So he's really, he's an earthquake on the uh, DR, Congo, DR Congo political scene. An earthquake, you call him, and yet this earthquake comes at a time when Kabila says he's not going to contest it anymore. What are we seeing in the DRC? Would you call it democracy or what's happening there? How would you describe it? The timing is extraordinary. We are in a, a very tense situation in the DR Congo with just months to go before people have to put their names forward for presidential candidate. Of course, that makes life difficult for the opposition who has to negotiate, but the government and the governing majority also have to decide on who's their candidate. Kabila will not, at present, come out and say he will not stand. He's under a lot of pressure. He's under pressure from African presidents who've said he should stand aside in December. He has not clearly and unequivocally said he will. He's got about two or three months to decide, so things are really heating up. Meanwhile, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, supporters of Jean-Pierre Bemba have welcomed the ICC's decision. We are very happy that the ICC has released Jean-Pierre Bemba. I have nothing more to say but to express my gratitude. I'm very thrilled about the news of Bemba's release. It's a clear indication that God is with us. We're really very happy. We are very happy about Bemba's release. Life has been very tough for us, but now we see a ray of hope. Jean-Pierre Bemba is a former warlord and once served as vice president of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Born to a prominent businessman, Bemba spent most of his childhood in the DRC in Belgium. He had a strained relationship with his father, who was close to former Congolese ruler Loro Kabila. Bemba often criticized his father's relationship with Kabila. His greatest influence was former leader Mobutu Sese Seko. Mobutu employed him as his personal assistant in the 1990s at only 30 years of age. Later, Bemba launched the Movement for the Liberation of Congo, MLC, in 1998. In only a few months, the MLC managed to capture northern DR Congo. 
The military pressure he put on Kabila's government eventually led to a peace deal that became the basis of a power-sharing government. As a rebel leader, Bemba was named one of four vice presidents. He became increasingly influential and stood for the country's presidency in 2006 against Loro Kabila's son, Joseph. But he was ultimately later deserted by many of his allies. He was then accused of treason after his bodyguard and the army clashed in Kinshasa in March 2007. He fled to his childhood retreat of Belgium, but this time it was no safe haven. He was arrested in May 2008 in Brussels and handed over to the ICC two months later. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.